So Linus Tech Tips channel has been terminated. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and I have some more cyber news. And today I want to talk about the big YouTuber Linus Tech Tips and how his YouTube channel has recently been hacked. And I saw this article a little bit earlier in the day, but I was working and I couldn't put the information out as soon as I wanted to. But this was super crazy, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of wanted to cover a couple of articles of what's actually going on. So let's get to it. All right, so this article is on the verge. It says the Linus Tech Tips YouTube hack is the latest in a line of crypto scam breaches. And exactly what happened, or at least what I've heard is happened, why the channel was terminated. Linus Tech Tips is ran by not just Linus, but he has a team that actually runs that YouTube channel. And so I assume someone either clicked on a phishing link or something to that effects and their account was compromised which allowed the hackers to get in and make changes to the channel and based on the images i saw hackers basically changed the channel so they could run the crypto scams on there that i don't know if you guys have seen those channels where it'll have elon musk talking on there about crypto and it's basically a scam uh videos that they run on the channel and therefore youtube saw that and terminate the channel now i don't think linus tech tips will go away because i'm sure youtube will make the corrections and then give the channel back to linus but it's interesting to, to see what's actually going on and a lot of these scammers are going after youtubers i talked about a couple of these scams uh last year late last year how they were going after youtube channel accounts and then once they get access to the channel, they take over it and put whatever they want up there on the channel. But this is the biggest one I've seen thus far. Now it says Google has been watching YouTube accounts get hacked for years. Is there more the tech giant could do to protect, protect creators? And like I said earlier, I have the link to this down in the description of the video. But shout out to Alex uh, Castro. He's the first article I actually seen uh, when this came out. But it says popular YouTube channel Linus Tech Tips has been hacked this morning with the channel's 15.3 million subscribers seeing videos for crypto scams instead of tech hardware reviews. It's the latest breach in a series of high profile YouTube accounts being hacked with scammers regularly gaining access to prominent accounts to, re to rename them and live stream crypto scam videos. And it's crazy. I ran across a, some of those accounts and they were running like live streams where it looks like it's Elon Musk's channel, but it's actually not. Uh, they have a video of him up there talking about some crypto something and they have it set up where it looks like a Zoom call with multiple people on it uh, talking about some type of crypto, trying to get people to sign up for whatever and scam people. Now it says the main Linus Tech Tips channel was breached earlier this morning with several live videos broadcasting before hackers started making old private videos public. That's crazy though right there, you know, for them that if they had that much access you know that's that's definitely crazy whoever's account got hacked they must have had like some editing permissions on the youtube account and if you guys don't know this with youtube you can add other google accounts as editors to your channel and they'll allow them to have certain permissions to do things on the channel now it says the account was eventually suspended presuming as youtube employee work to restore it other Linus Media Group YouTube channels, including Tech Quickies and Tech Links, have also been breached and given new names focused on Tesla. And that's kind of the way it works. I'm sure they gave that one account to all those channels. And so once they got into that one account, it was able to do the exact same thing on the other channels. Now it says it's not immediately clear how the channels have been breached, but owner Linus tweeted that he was aware of the situation. Later in a statement posted on Floatplane, a streaming service spun out of Linus Media Group. He said that the company is working on it with Google and is getting to the bottom of the attack vector with the hopeful goal of hoarding their security around YouTube accounts. And to me, when something like this happens to a big creator, like 
Linus Tech Tips, where he had like 15 million subscribers on the channel, that will cause Google to implement a lot of changes. So we should all look forward to some new changes maybe coming along, especially since this was a big YouTuber on the platform. He also promised to discuss additional details on the company's podcast. Don't warn, they might not come this week as it's still a developing situation. And that is Linus's tweet. It says, yes, I know. <laughs> so uh, he's taking it well, I guess. Uh, this is just the latest in a series of breaches that have occurred over the past year, generally designed to promote live streams that push users to amateur looking crypto sites through links or QR codes. Yeah, and that's something that you'll see on those live streams. They'll they'll have links that they want you to click on, but it says the British Army YouTube channel was hacked to promote crypto scams last year. I remember when that happened. Uh, just months before tens of thousands of viewers watched a fake Apple crypto scam on YouTube. Uh, popular Vivo channels on YouTube from artists like uh, Drake, uh, Taylor Swift and more were also affected by breaches last year that saw videos uploaded from an unauthorized source. Yeah, and that's exactly what they do. They'll premiere it and drop a whole bunch of links. Now it says, we've reached out to Google for a comment on this latest YouTube incident and to provide information on exactly what the company is doing to protect creators here. While today's breach could be from a combination of password and two-factor authentication being compromised, it feels like YouTube could do more to prevent damages, damaging effects of this. And like I said, I'm sure they're probably gonna implement something else, especially after this big creator. Uh, these scams have been going on for months and one YouTuber claims they work through fake sponsor, sponsors reaching out to creators. And that's one thing I see a lot. Uh, ever since my channel has kinda uh, I don't know, got over 10,000 subscribers at least. I started re receiving a lot of fake sponsor uh, emails. And I think I covered some of them in a previous video, basically telling creators to watch out for these types of scams. Because a lot of times they want you to click on links. They want you to go look at certain things. Uh, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful what you click on, what you look at. Because it could be convincing, but it, it's probably a scam or some malware or something to that can be downloaded on your computer, you know, and hack you. Now it says YouTubers are then convinced to download a file. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Download a file related to the sponsorship, which is just malware designed to steal cookies, remotely control PCs, and ultimately hijack YouTube accounts. And that's what you don't want. Uh, now, what it says right here, I would personally like to see YouTube implement a lockdown mode for high profile accounts uh, where if you sign in from an unknown browser or location based on an IP or other factors, then you can't perform channel renames or access live stream options or video deletion for a period of time. Yeah, and that's one bad thing about it. I wonder if uh, because if you go into your YouTube channel and you look at a video or something, you click on it, you hit delete. It tells you clear as day that you cannot recover these deleted files. And so unless YouTube has a way of recovering that, uh, but based on what they're, you know, the notice that they give us can't be recovered. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully these people didn't go through and delete his videos. That would really suck. Now it says combined with alerts uh, for when a new location has signed in, this could help channel owners recover their YouTube accounts before any real damage is done. And that's true. Uh, that 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 should be something you should be able to do. You know what I'm saying? If it's a new location, I don't know, give it like 24 hours or something before you can actually start making changes or something to the channel or some other form of verification. Now it says you, YouTube could also implement a guardian system where you need second approval from another account. Yeah, there we go. Uh, to rename the channel or delete videos or even additional two factor prompts for channel actions. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that's actually a good idea in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? If you got multiple accounts on that YouTube channel, uh, you may need to get uh, put some type of approval process in there. You know what I'm saying? Where uh, the person that technically owns the account uh, can approve it or another account on the channel. And I'm sure with these big channels, they have multiple accounts on uh, attached to these YouTube channels, meaning they have permissions to do certain things because I know Linus can't do all this by his own, by itself. 
So his team, you know, obviously needs access. Um, you know, whether it's creating thumbnails and upload those, the editing port process, you know, all those different areas of putting up these videos is covered by someone with an account, most likely. Now, it also says this could also help slow down the impact of a YouTuber's own machine being breached. Yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, hopefully, YouTube has some even better ideas and can get this under control because I'm sick of waking up to a phone full of notifications about junk crypto videos from YouTube. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm with you, Alex, for real. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I just really wanted to cover it. This is kind of like breaking news. Uh, it was an interesting article to read. I want to let you creators know out there, you need to be careful of your YouTube accounts and just verify that you're not clicking on any links or anything like that. Uh, just look out for these scams because if it can happen to this guy, you know, it can happen to us all. And I hope Linus gets his channel back up and running. But please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.